so so then your 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 eldest are your like your your oldest like two kids at this point are starting to get old enough to like be interested in what you do right yeah the yeah definitely the oldest two like kind of have more of a concept and an idea of like dad goes and competes he works out and then when i come back did you win and it's like well no i didn't win that but like the the oldest one for sure has an idea and a grasp of kind of like what I'm doing. Um, so like the, the reason why I, I, I ask that is because, you know, I have, I have a son and, you know, I want to obviously include him in my, my activities. It's like, you know, future training partner. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to like, I don't want to force it on him, but I feel like if I, if I work out enough near him, he's just gonna be like, this is what we do. And he's going to be like, oh, let's yeah. go work out dad. So I'm curious, like how that interaction works. Like, do you actually get a chance to do that? Or is everything just a little bit too chaotic and too sort of like all over the place to be able to pull that off, to be able to work? Yeah, out no. Um, I mean, so we have everything in our house. Um, so, I mean, like skiers, rowers, boxes, slam ball, like literally everything. So they like when I am working out at home, they want to work out. But it's also to a degree of like... <clears throat> dad still has to do his job so then my wife will like take them out and like let them play while I'll work out but then when I'm done they come in and will like want to do a workout mm. so they'll be like write me a workout write me a workout so then it's usually like ball slams or kind of like slam balls over the shoulder squats pull-ups like that kind of stuff and it's cool to see <clears throat> that's like the normal right like they kind of have an idea of like oh well we gotta go to a gym and work out and run around and do whatever like to understand that dad owns a gym and for them, it's just like, when they come in here, it's like, ah, freedom. But then it's like, okay, well, this is still business guys. You gotta still contain yourselves. Um, but yeah, it's cool to kind of let them see that like health and wellness is an important part of how you live every day. And then to like, hopefully teach them healthy habits as like they grow up of like, okay, when you're getting it, since my wife teaches in school, she created like a health and fitness class and like does that. But the amount of kids that like can't touch their toes or can't do a squat or can't do these things, you're like, it's so basic and like how you develop, but it's like what you're around all the time, like what you're actually doing. So just letting them do squats, do the workouts with me, have a PVC and kind of do clean and jerks and snatches. Like they don't really know what they're doing but they're having fun doing it. So then it's creating the fun aspect around it and making fitness fun without yeah. like really doing it. So is there, um, is there like a, is there like a, uh, uh, a, a version of like your mindset that, that comes into play when you're, when you're around your kids of like, you know, this is the image or the idea of how I want them to view me? Or is it just, is it much more natural? Do you just kind of have this idea of like, this is who I am and and I don't need to necessarily put something on for them to like see a certain example. It just is um, what it is. Yeah, no. I mean, I think the, when, it, when I'm at home, I try to be fully with them and like try to stay off the phone, try to like make sure I'm spending time with them. Like they're not just sitting around watching TV all the time or doing something like that, where it's like, all right, let's get outside. Dad's out here cutting the grass, doing landscaping. They want to dig and help. And like, I think just spending quality time with them is more important than me trying to like show them like things have to be a certain way or done a certain way. Like that was one thing my parents always, I feel like did a good job at was letting us just kind of, not do whatever we wanted, but from like a sports side of things, like we tried every sport and whatever we liked, we kind of like stuck with and just see everything that you possibly can and experience it and then decide what you like to do, what you want to chase after, what your dreams are going to be. Like that stuff will I feel like just kind of come naturally. Like I'm not putting them in CrossFit. I'm not making them do all these things. Like if they want to try it, then we're trying it. So like we, my oldest goes to jujitsu twice a week because I think that's like a good skill to learn how to grapple, how to fall, how to roll. And then, of course, if you ever get in a situation, you can defend yourself to a degree. Um, and then also if someone tries to date your sister, like you have a background <laughs> to like help them out. Uh, but then 
we've done baseball. We're going to probably do lacrosse here soon. Um, I have dirt bikes for them to ride. Like, so I think it's just a wide variety of letting them be kids and have fun kind of doing whatever they want. Um, and then kind of go from there. And then as they pick things up, then pursue it a little bit more and see, I mean, they're six and four, like the people I think get way too intense. And I saw this with motocross when I was growing up is like a kid would fall, the dad would just grab him and he's screaming bloody murder. And he'd just throw him back on the bike and the kid would go like, there's definitely, I feel like right times and bad times to do that. And I think that just probably wasn't like, you're just going to traumatize the kid. That's not going to enjoy riding anymore where it's like, this is a fun sport and it's, yeah, you could become professional and do these things, but I think there's different avenues that you can go down. Like, I think it's great that I didn't go to college. I was more of a, the kind of outsider of the school world, but my wife loves school actually just finished her doctorate. Congratulations. Yeah. I I don't know how she did that with, she was being pregnant and then had the baby and then was still doing it. So I don't know how she does that, but love school. So you get kind of like these two different sides. Like I'm covered in tattoos. My wife isn't like you literally have two different ends of the spectrum with, our kids and how we kind of interact and do different things but you also can still see that you don't have to be one way or another to be successful or go do this like all right look I didn't have a college degree or anything but I run my own business I'm a professional athlete like there's other avenues than just like it has to be by the book I go to school I do this I go to this job like and I think that between both of us is pretty good to share with them and have those kind of experiences left or right. So I guess back to your question is not really, do we push anything upon them? It's just kind of let them do it and experience it and put them in different situations that would allow them to try different skills and new things. And then how they grow from that is what you'll kind of develop and see. 